today is World Science Day for Peace and Development. November 10th was set aside by the United Nations, and this is to promote national and international solidarity for a shared science between countries, also to renew national and international commitment for the use of science for the benefit of societies. It also is to draw attention to the challenges faced by science in raising support for the scientific endeavors. And uh, there's no better time to explore this than now when nations find it hard to live in peace with one another. To discuss this, we have with us in the studio Chibuim Stanley, a scientist. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Yeah, thank you for welcoming me to your well esteemed <laughs> and reputable television station. You're welcome. So I, I will start pleasure. with the message from the UNESCO Director General uh, for this year. Yeah. Uh, the message is, the current crisis should serve as a wake-up call regarding the urgency for increased financing and support of scientific research and collaboration. So. Uh, do you agree with that? Because it's, it's a non-issue to ask if we should be talking about uh, the importance of science. More funding. Is this the wake-up call we need, this pandemic? Yeah, actually, it is in line with uh, this year's theme of the World Science Day. The World Science Day, you may not know, uh, was inaugurated by UNESCO in 2001. November 10th, tentatively, but it took effect tentatively, tentatively in 2002. So this year being uh, 2020 team is science for and the society in dealing with the global pandemic. We know the global pandemic that ravaged many parts of the world since last year when it started in China, 2019 till it spread to different parts of the world. That is why many people have died and many are still quarantined, although I thank God many are recovering. So it is in line with that that UNESCO has chosen this topic, the theme for this year's World Science Day, being November 10, 2020, celebrated every year, November 10, 20, uh, today, <coughs> being November 10, 2020, is celebrated every year, and it's titled Science for, and with the society in dealing with the global pandemic. So more funds must be uh, provided in order to fight the global pandemic because it, it, it has not been easy. A lot of people have lost their job, a lot of life have, have uh, gone, and uh, the world wouldn't like such to repeat itself. If there's any way the United Nations can put in their best in order to avoid a reoccurrence, that's what they are doing. So the, what he's saying is in, uh, putting a right, uh, a, square, a square peg in a square hole. Well, uh, 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 could you also share your thoughts on um, how far we've come, you know, with regard to science? Because uh, if you recall, you know, in the 1700s and a lot earlier, um, uh, diseases you would kill hundreds and thousands uh, without a cure. Uh, but we've over time been able to find vaccines, able to find cures. And uh, I think yesterday, uh, Pfizer also mentioned that a vaccine for COVID-19 is about 90% uh, sure now, effective rather. Um, so do we have a lot to celebrate with regards what science has, has yeah, done Yeah, well, Yeah, we have a lot to celebrate. Um, you know, man is, a, I, I can call it that, you know, there's a limit human being can, can operate. You are not a spirit. Science has done much there. Even yourself, your science, everything concerning you is science, everything in me is science. This globe here is science. The television, the computer, the motor, everything, aeroplane, everything is science. We have a lot to celebrate in science. Irrespective that the drugs were found a bit late by some countries, does not mean that scientists are not working. You know, it's something that came somehow impromptu. Some nations didn't know that such thing is coming. Some knew, but uh, did not take it serious. This is one of the reasons. And again, some of these drugs were politicized. I don't want to go into that Nigeria's uh, political phantasmagoria because I'm not a politician. You can recall that some people produced these drugs in Nigeria and it was subdued. Some of the ones that were produced from some of those, the, those drugs, we heard it in the news. Was yeah. There was no scientifically proven, uh, given evidence to say that they are efficacy. Um, I mean, uh, to prove their efficacy. And NABDAG, 
said they only received remedies. Let's let's not delve into that conversation. Uh, what, but are, what of the ones uh, some other countries and another, another African country that, that brought? They are telling so us they are now using one that political thing or the other. How are you, you, are you referring me? to Madagascar now? Uh, hey, so how can you talk? Say, do you want to tell me that all over the world, nobody, no science scientist was able to produce something? No, what is, is happening now is a we political have... Nigeria's political phantasmagoria. No. Okay. Um, uh, let, let's look at let's look at um, uh, I mean let's try to whip around the theme. Yes, the pandemic is a yeah. real um, issue of conversation. But I, I wanted to uh, talk about um, one of the objectives um, for uh, commemorating this day is to increase international collaboration. Uh, that will bring about the kind of vaccine that we now have. There was uh, yes uh, collaboration. Wouldn't you say that objective has already been met and it is now on mute? Because obviously, obviously rather, there is collaboration and that is why we are getting the results that we are getting now. Yeah. It is a, as, as I earlier said, it is a square peg on a square hole. We have been increasing, but we need to increase more. If you are running and you are going somewhere and you are not rich where you are going, what will you do? Will you stop? You keep on going until you reach your destination. That is the reason there is more increment and more fund need to be added, and more collaboration need to be made in order to reach your destination. You are a graduate at the university. You don't need to go to university to know how to read and write. Why did you continue? Why not you stop at secondary school? You have already gotten the education. Why not just say, hey, I don't want to go study again. I have known how to read and write, but you continued. So you want to read the apex. You want to read the zenith. You want to read the climax. You want to reach the highest points. That is why there is more collaboration needed and more fund is needed in order to tackle this pandemic. But this is a pandemic. That is what uh, UNESCO is doing. It is a, a right step in the right direction. And um, well, uh, hopefully, you know, they would also get the support that um, they deserve from other countries um, across the world, the United uh, States, France, Germany, and of course, those world powers. Um, I, I want to bring us down here to um, Africa and of course, to Nigeria. Okay. Um, we, you, you, of course, started a conversation just now about how, you know, our scientific you know, developments are being silenced. Yeah. Um, so I, I want to know what you think we could do more of or do better uh, with regard to science in Africa. Yeah, let us take Nigeria, where we are, because uh, if I talk it, if I say Africa in general, some people may not easily understand. Let us handle Nigeria alone, being a, a I call it a microcosm, a microcosm of uh, the African continent, so where if they are like ready to listen, I pray they will be able to listen. Listening is one thing, implementation is another. So they have been on the air here many times. One of the ways to improve science in the country is to look at, look in ways. Most of our leaders that are doing well in science, if you go to America, you may not know. Many of the doctors there that are excelling excellently well are from Nigeria. What can we do? We need to provide all those necessary equipment and look for a way to avoid brain drain. Many of our experts in science and technology are leaving the country. If you're able to provide the necessary things at home, as we could say that no place is like home, and you put your mechanisms very, very well, those people outside will be able to be brought down home. Here. And it's one of the major ways in which our science and technology can be improved. I was on station previously, I gave it a challenge that Almost the whole universities in Nigeria, there are about 170 universities in Nigeria or more, you hardly count some that have a functioning electron microscope. Is it not, is it not a taboo? You hardly count those that have a functioning electron microscope. So people in science that are studying what is called electromicrography is a course. What do they have to do? They have to travel to South Africa, which is the closest country to Nigeria that has a functioning electron microscope. You can't do much when the equipment you need is not there. My sister is a woman. She cannot cook a very beautiful soup if the husband did not give her excellent money to cook yes, it. So. This is the problem we are having. <laughs> the equipment are not here. The people outside there, they don't want to bring them here. And they, we are playing live services. Look at the Asian... Tigers, we started with in the 70s. They have told us bye bye today. If you open, uh, give everybody a visa now, 
Say everybody who wants to travel to any of the Asian Tanga should travel. The people we started with before, you can't believe it, no single Nigerian will remain. <laughs> All right. I, I, you see, interestingly, I, I, my interest is piqued. Yeah. I want to hear your position yeah. on your, the political conspiracy you talk about yeah. against the COVID-19 yeah. vaccine that was found um, in this country. Um, as a scientist, were you able to verify any of the claims that was put forward and that was discredited uh, by established authorities? Yeah, you see what happened here? I call it earlier Nigeria's political phantasmagoria. Okay. Do you understand that? What is a phantasmagoria? A phantasmagoria is a mirage. A phantasmagoria is an optical illusion. It's a phantasmagoria is something you are looking that it looks that is real, but it's not real. Some Nigerians have really, I don't want to mention their name, it will look like I'm doing advert for them. No, we had uh, the Let's professor from Umudike. We uh, had someone else from some other place come professor out. Professor from Umudike is my friend, Professor mm -hmm. Madike Ezibe. That's another one, Professor Iwu. And yes, some professor, other one, that was the name I was hey, trying even to remember. During that program, University of Lagos produced a... Uh, this thing that is so... Um, well, my question, sir, yeah. is were you in any way, you said he's your friend, did yeah. you maybe uh, take a look at his research yeah, for I did. the I vaccine? That, you and know, was you, it know, you know, I'm not the authority to carry out, if you're you a scientist, I'm not a medical doctor or a pharmacist to carry out the, the findings on individual body. It's a, it has to pass different stages. Exactly. There's, a, there's a stage so, so I cannot you, operate because I'm not a medical doctor. So in order to carry out those things. So what I found in the country... What is the Because when you say things like political that... Political phantasmagoria. Let me explain that. Okay. What of the one in Madagascar? If I own it, it's not working. I have, answer me. Did, that one killed people subsequently. Ah, I mean, did you not see it in the news? No, there wasn't anything. So where, you where see do, what is where happening in the country? Was. There are certain things... We're on the air. We cannot be talking on the air. Oh, yeah. Because, sure, because, because for, we're on the air. What, what we're trying to find out is for where, you where not do you to, think no, it was For you not to value your own, it's a misnomer. This is the truth and nothing but the truth. No, for but you but not but to but value your I own, either not, they look at yes, you, is, either they look at you that you are coming to make more money or you don't have anybody there or you are not going to kick somebody, to bribe somebody, to push you forward. All those things should Sorry, go. I think it is so, fair so, at this point problems. to clearly state that yeah. from records available, the government was responsive. They said that if you have your materials bring for further investigation and verification of the product. Now, we had the NAVDAC DG uh, speak to us here on Plus TV Africa and clearly stated that she only had two, and those two were treatment for symptoms mm -hmm. of COVID-19 mm -hmm. and not the cure itself. So if there is anybody that says, I have a cure for COVID-19, okay. the right thing to do, instead of us to be alluding to political mechanisms oh, yeah. that is stopping that progress, I think we should encourage them Thank to you for follow that the right Thank you for the part. Since you said that the director of DG has said that that one can lead to, what do you call it, not cure, you say that it can, can lead to what? It can lead to what? Sorry? You said that the, the DG of NAVDA said that the drugs that was produced can... Can be no, he said the people managing. allege yes. that it is used to manage, manage good. symptoms. Good. Not if a, a Nigerian has produced a drug that can be used to manage a symptom, is it Pending not... Pending verification. So, so you're taking the information where you want no, it. No, Pending let me come. verification. Let me come. From the statement you have made, mm -hmm. is it not contradictory to you? If you have produced a drug that can... That can no, no, it's not con you didn't get down. it. You let didn't me, get it. Okay, let get me come down. Let me, I have sir. gotten get you. Me, I have you gotten did you. not. I, I have gotten you. Let me give you an answer you. to that. Let me give you an <laughs> answer to that. A drug that can manage a symptom. That is what now, the people what can you do? What said. can you do in order to encourage that scientist? Now he has counted one. There's a possibility for him to count two. All you need to is to encourage him. Some of these people are working with extremely nothing. Since you have right. been able to bring something that so, can manage so you're, something, so you're, I guess can as well, they can as well improve forward. to bring a, a drug that can now give a total cure. Yeah, that I is actually how science wanted being. you. Okay, science sir. evolves. I actually evolves, wanted evolves. you to speak from one step to another. Okay, so I wanted you to you know clear that on the air. So yeah. because you made comments about it, I wanted you to clear. So let's, let's take it. They're let's take it to other areas. Since the person has produced a drug that can manage. 
encourage him to produce a drug that can cure. Okay, uh, I think that's debatable, let but let's move forward, sir. Let me round up this. Do you know that the airplane you are using today, you are going to America, Germany, Russia, Britain, France, it, it didn't just come overnight. Right from the time of uh, um, many, 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 many scientists like Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci has started trying to invent flights. He, f he didn't succeed. Till 1903, the, 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 the two brothers from America, they now succeeded. It took over hundreds of years. So if a scientist had developed a medicine that can manage in Nigeria, it is the duty of the, of the Nigerian government to put, to encourage him, fund him, and they provide the necessary things for him, you'll be able to, to, to go for that and get a drug that you kill. All so right, let's there, talk about aren't there any... But uh, instead, uh, they, will not, they will not do it. Yeah, but isn't there any, any type of support that, you know, Nigerian scientists get uh, from international organizations? Yeah, from, Nigerian from scientists under, get international, international um, grants. Sometimes how to assess that grant is a factor. And secondly, because of the image of our country, you might not believe this, the image of our country has been bastardized. Sometimes some of the things that are supposed to be given to Nigerians as scientists have been diverted. And some of times, the things that are brought here, you know what happened to the palliatives. I don't want to go into that. It's not being made available to, to the masses. These All right, are the let, let's talk having. about other areas, sir. Yeah. Let's talk about science education in our schools. Yeah. You, talk, you alluded to the debt of infrastructure needed exactly. to actually train uh, our young ones. So what are some of the uh, things that you think government can begin to do as a projection towards ensuring that science education gets some sort of upliftment? Because we cannot, you know, dispute or even begin to enumerate the importance of science to our daily life. Thank you for that question. I personally am a science educator. By the grace of God, not by my power, I teach physics, I teach chemistry, I teach mathematics, I teach further mathematics. I'm a science educator for years, and I don't need, I don't need, even I don't need book to start. Okay, so tell the us The problem what we, we are need. having in our universities, in our secondary schools, lack of equipment, one. The equipments, I've mentioned one, go and carry the research. You can count few universities in this country, if there is any, that has ordinary a functioning electron microscope, yes, which is one of the my, things. My question Many is of the things, what we call nuclear it. magnetic resonance imaging, yes. all these machines, we need, we need more know, of them. Uh, sir, sir, we need to know what the problems are, yes. The but I'm also, as somebody that is an educator yeah. uh, in the science area, yeah. you have noticed this problem. Yeah. As a scientist, yes, what sir. are some of the solutions you would suggest yeah. for consideration by those who have that ability so that we can move our science education forward? Very very as easy as ABC. Make the phone available to scientists one. Import the necessary required equipment. Remember, there are differences between need and want. Produce, provide the necessary needed, not wanted. A needed something is something you cannot do without. For example, you need food to survive. You could don't say, I want food to survive. No. You need food to survive because without food, you are going to die. So there are those things, reagents and equipment and acid and bases in Why do you say scientists? Because I know that there are some bodies of mm -hmm. um, there, there are some bodies responsible for this. The fund made available to them is low. For example, in Ghana, 27%, which is a United Nations UNESCO uh, uh, required value, is being given to education. Uh, give, give me the answer. How many percentage is given to Nigerian ed education? That's it. Um, Only six percent. Six percent, yeah, I believe. Only 6% compared to Ghana's own 27%. How can you handle science effectively? I visited the University of Ghana recently. I know the type of environment and equipment they have. You come to our own universities in the country. Many of them are just glorified secondary school. The equipment are not there. The fund that is the percentage UNESCO say that that should be given to a uh, Nigerian nation and other nations, 27% of your annual budget. Hear it loud and clear. 6% or 7% is what is being given in annual budget for, for education in Nigeria. How can sleep and death, are they the same thing? Uh, in, what, in what ways do you think that uh, science and development can still thrive in Nigeria without um, the government's support? Is there ways that we can still make some sense mm, out of yeah. it? Yeah, I mean, the, the, 
the individuals, banks, industries, uh, other philanthropies can as well donate and it also improve the form that is being made available to scientists. Look, for example, if you made a first class in engineering in any university, they will give you only 10,000 naira as a, as a, to, to encourage you. Why, if you make first class, in, you come out with uh, some uh, very big, uh, you, you come first in BB Niger, you know, you'll be giving 85 million. Oh, so I, I see so, that so, analogy. So, so, yeah, we, don't, we don't, that we don't analogy. appreciate it. You see, you see yes, as she has said it, she loved the analogy. So, this is the, the issue. You see many people in science that are drifting, you see many people that are academically inclined that are drifting. So, there is a great lacuna, and that lacuna should be closed. The foreign bodies, individuals, scientists, um, pro, um, philanthropies, banks, and other uh, multinational firms should come to the aid of schools, come to the aid of individuals, should come to the aid of people. If you, are work, if you have taken this research, walk on the streets, you see some Nigerian boys, children that have not even gone to university, building one thing or the other, building a helicopter, building a transformer, building radio. I don't need, if you are not seeing it physically, you have seen it on the internet. Do you know they allowed those talents to die? This is the problem. But if it is advanced countries, individual will pick them, and that individual is giving a great warm up to rise up. I have been championing course in the field of science and technology since uh, 14 years ago. Let me put it like this. By the grace of God, I was the first to report the total solar eclipse of 2006 in the whole nation. Ask me, has there been any dying from the government? This is the problem. But if it's BB Niger, he will have been given 85 million. But it's not the government. So these the are government the things that is the government Even fund. the individuals now, um, even the individuals. Banks and the industries and other people, multinationals and all these things. These are the things that is making our science is declining. Until we encourage this thing, you can't do much without fund. Let's call the spade a spade, not an instrument of farming. You need a fund to buy, even as you look very fine. This your suit is science. You may not know. My sister, this your suit is science. Because they fall under what is called fabrics. And the fabrics, this color falls under what is called photochemistry and dyes. So if there's no dye and they to do this well, you can't go, you don't have any cash, you can't buy it. This is the problem. We need fund in the science world if we want to move forward. If I tell you the amount of money America injected in order to go to, to the moon in 1969, no, Nigeria would not like to invest even one tenth of it. This is the problem. We, we don't put enough money in the field of science and that is why we're not doing well but to prove me right when the same nigerian scientists travel abroad you see them excelling you see them excelling in american universities you see many many nigerians that are excelling they are doing excellently well all right quickly um just because quickly we're allowing brain to die uh, in this country kind of, hold on i i want you to, to quickly share your thoughts on um what steps we must take um, in Africa, um, as we celebrate today's uh, World Day of uh, Science and uh, Development, um, of course, the focus is on COVID-19. But you know, generally, what do you think we must, you know, start to do better um, with and do more of? Yeah. Aside from funding. Mm, um, now I have spoken on Nigeria as a microcosm. Yes. Now in Africa as a continent, the African leaders should come together. The African leaders, the scientists, and go to a drawing board. What can we produce? Do you know Africa is just a, a, a consuming nation? When you come to science and technology, you may not know this. It's a consuming nation. Almost everything we are having in science and technology are being brought up to Africa. Why can't we produce? That's the question. A phone has to be produced, made available, and our experts that are outside, we're looking ways to draw them back. I don't want to mention some of them. It will look like I'm, I'm advertising them. And some of those that are here that know this thing, there will be availability of funds and the necessary equipment without playing lip services made available to them. You are going to see a phenomenal uh, development in the field of science and technology. Yes. Fund must be provided. Look for our the great brains that are outside and bring them back here. Provide the necessary equipment, the ones who cannot produce. Then start from somewhere. Can you remember? 
Many years ago, when somebody uh, is, uh, uh, is uh, um, using any China something, we say, mm, nah, it's a minor something. Today, China started from the scratch, and they have climbed out. The same thing happened in India. They were not doing, they were not strong before. They started from that small car called Tata. Today, they have climbed up. We can start from somewhere. And the, the uh, other in, in, in industries we have, like where they're producing cars here in Nigeria, I don't want to mention their names to look like that, we need to encourage right. them and they put in more effort, bring in more sciences, scientists, bring our people outside, both in Nigeria and uh, we're talking in Africa at large. Right. With that, Nigeria Africa will not be uh, a total so consuming nation. So much to talk about. Thank, Thank you, you so much for it's your time and for coming on The Breakfast. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's a pleasure.